This is a store. Stores are awesome. We'll worry about it later, but I can get things like better armor for this one's for Cosmos. But we'll worry about that stuff later once we actually have a party and not just Shion. And one other thing I haven't mentioned yet is the points we get after each um, thing. You can spend ether points to evolve your abilities, like this. Give her Analyze, which is pretty awesome, and at least more healing abilities. And Goodbye, which lets you escape from battle, which I don't really like to do. So we're going to give her this one. Because once we give her this one, it won't let me actually show you, but the green ones up in the uh, top right, those are more healing abilities. We want those. Um, tech attacks are your special abilities. You can use tech points to either, if you up the speed of it, you can use it immediately. And that's why I'm not going to use any tech points on Cosmos, because she gets an ability a little ways through the game that's amazing. And if you up the speed on it to make it so you can use it every round, you, you just win. You just kind of win. But you can also upgrade its power. And... And how quickly you recover, because after using a tech attack, you usually have a lag. So you can't, your turns come up slower. This makes it so you can, yeah. Level increase, increase attack power. Um, you can also use tech points for... Well, I'll get to that part in a minute. Skill points, you can use to extract. I don't have enough skill points, but I could extract dexterity too from that. And I can set it and equip it. You can have three skills equipped at once. Which makes it so you have what items you have. Like these two. And all these. Plus three more items essentially and then you can also use tech points to up your HP your EP strength vitality blah 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 I usually tend to do a little bit of both sometimes I'll up these sometimes I'll up power for their tech attacks unless you're cosmos in which case I'm not touching any of that until she gets that special ability so I can immediately up the speed on it that'll make a lot more sense later in the game I just realized that probably didn't make too much sense but you'll see what I mean. Would you like to go to B1? Sure. My computer is not happy right now. I'm gonna have to give it a rest after this recording. It's Cosmos' coffin! Chaos. Don't molest her. So we finally meet. Again. Now, where does the real you exist? Chaos knows something. Good night. Aww. You two are so cute together. I ship it. And then Cherenkov shows up and Chaos is gone. Magic powers of godlyhood just morphs through here. the wall. But here's what Cherenkov was doing when he should have been at dinner. <laughs> Same goes for you, Cherenkov. Don't molest the sleeping cosmos. She will probably put a fist through your skull. More cutscenes! Look at that fringe on the guy with the hood. Who does that look like? I'm not going to say, but still. I trust this will work correctly. But why? And he pulls the chaos and is gone. And now we get to find out about what happened at that at incident incident two years ago. When Cosmos was gonna get started up. Yes. Energy bypass. 
That's the subject secure. Control binding released to level six. That's amazing. Everybody down on the floor! This facility is now under control of the UTIC organization. Any resistance whatsoever will be met with deadly force. So don't even think about trying anything. As long as you follow our orders, you will not be harmed. We appreciate your cooperation. And this is what happens when you wake up an unfinished android. It doesn't end well for anyone involved. Oh, that's creepy. Everybody dies in Cosmos murders everyone. And yet they still kept going with the project. This is when you run honey buns. Who am I kidding? You're not a honey buns, Trankov. Now this is badass. This is what the original Cosmos could do. Missiles to the face, no problem. Yeah, don't piss off Cosmos. That's pretty much the bottom line. They didn't give her her beauty sleep and she killed everyone. Is this... Is this the same archetype from before? Um... No, she looks nothing like the Cosmos from there. Well, she does, but, you know, not like it. Sharankov, I know you're having a PTSD moment, but that doesn't mean you need to shoot yourself in the- oh. Huh. Don't. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't kill her, actually, because I don't think her black box is in her head. I actually think it's in her stomach. Or chest cavity. You okay? Shaking like a leafy are. Did you get touched by something? A gnosis, perhaps? Anyway, we're back as Xion. Now let's go find Drankov. I got an email! This is something in approximately 120. Uh, an AI will. Just won't be completed this way, we're looking. Okay, so this is the one that's about the hacker that we're gonna try and help catch. Okay. We don't have to do anything just yet, it's just giving us a warning that pretty soon we're going to have to do something. <laughs> Destroy everything in these people's plane... Or planes? Planes? Oh, right, I can't go down there because I have... ...a thing. Uh, food, food, I have food. Thank you, well, in English, I swear. Upgrade and money! 
Why is it always G? It's always Gil or Gold or in this game just G. Why can't it be some futuristic knight? 150G. Obtain 200G. Long loading times are long. Maybe next time I'll get a story together. Hi, Chaos. How you doing? I'm just gonna shove my food into your torso. Chaos, were you able to talk with Cosmos? No, she seemed to be asleep, so I didn't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Why, thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you? <laughs> By the way, have you seen the commander? It's the commander going to the maintenance lab. Blah, 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 blah. Chaos is too trusting. He just let Trankov go in there. And again, he doesn't know the history. Well, maybe he knows the history. Maybe. Use the lift? Of course. Of course, sir. There's more people I can talk to. Hello. I'm in charge of maintaining the ship. Is there anything you need? This is a shop. This is another shop. I. Oh, this is an egg shop. Okay. There we can buy new eggs, um, like, weapons for them and other things like that. Use the lift? Yes, I will use the lift. And now we are in the maintenance lab. As he is shaking like a leaf because he is slowly <gasps> being poisoned with you. things. Oh, and stuff. Um... I didn't see you in your room. I, I thought you might be a little hungry. Please don't point a gun at me. What were you doing? I was looking at her. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Don't you shoot, oh, Cosmos. This, uh, it's a bad habit. Are you trying to shoot my life's I work? See. I think no, I might have to punch you, you in the a soldier, face. After all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. He's talking Don't about a brother. Don't you think that's dangerous? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. And she killed so many people before as her previous form. Kiss, yes. kiss, kiss, Regardless kiss. of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason. They can bring about death. Yeah, she Happens shot through Vir Virgil to get, what was it, a 30% I to stop a 30% drop on her combat abilities. She would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter, or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Then she killed everyone. <laughs> I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. It's a strange thing to At notice about someone, now, Xion. Is... So he's not shuffling it into his face at, like uh why? like the captain why was. Why do you ask? Just wondering. You somehow seemed different from the other crew members. Yeah, he's just a little different. You don't recognize his voice all, at all from when was assembled hastily. Doesn't recognize his voice at all from Besides, when Cosmos went crazy, do you, honey? I'll go to where I'm assigned. Uh soldier?
And now we still have more cutscenes. Well, looks like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Momo is oh, apparently a really, really good pilot. Impulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Not going there, honey bun. You're going to second Milsha. <laughs> Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. Oh, she's so sad. It's okay, Momo, honey. I'll give you a hug. Can't see it, but I'm hugging my controller because I can't actually hug her because she's not real. And in a game. And also not currently on screen. <laughs>